Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Tim Justin, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to go over some more immersive engineering and today we're going to go over the mixer and the bottler and some pretty cool stuff that they can do and I apologize for the beeping in the background but they're working in our alleyway and I've waited to the last minute to record this and I can't wait any longer so sorry about that nothing I can do about it uh hopefully it's not too loud on your end all right so first of all let's look at the recipes these are multi-block structures for both the mixer and the bottler so for the uh, bottler we're going to need three steel scaffolding two of the iron sheet metal two of the light engineering blocks one of the redstone engineering blocks one of the fluid pumps and three of the conveyor belts so you're going to lay it out in this pattern um, I tried to make it easy, so iron sheet metal, the steel scaffolding there, there, and there, redstone engineering, and light engineering. Now the second layer, you're going to put the three conveyor belts. Make sure when you put them down that you have the arrows pa placing to the right on all three of those. That does make a difference. Um, and then you're also going to place the iron sheet metal block, the fluid pump, and the light engineering block. And that is it. When you go to form it, you're going to hit this middle conveyor belt right there. And that forms it, as you can see. And of course, if you ever need to move anything, just you can break one block and replace it. And that will break the system. So this is what it looks like when it's all put together. It's all nice and beautiful. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put some water in here. And I know it's just water, but we're going to put some water in there. So we have the barrel going to here. This is our input for fluid. Well, there, there, there's not much. There is an input here. Don't have it set up, but um, you could also put the input there for um, uh, where it's lava for the bottles. Uh, but you can also just throw them on down here. Uh, you can throw. You can do bottles. You just put them down here. It makes a really cool animation. You watch as it fills it up because it puts whatever you have coming in into this right here. So you can see how much is left. Uh, but I do have it automatically set up. So I will show you that too. But yeah, you can just throw all the, I mean, you can even throw the whole stack down here. And it'll make them all as long as I don't pick it back up. Uh... Oh, it's deleting it. I was like, what in the world? Uh, so, but as you can see, it just comes into here. So it's really cool. Uh, you can do bucket. Uh, I do the buckets in here. But uh, let's break this for a minute so we can put it back down. Uh, there. Again, make sure you face it the right way. And form it again. Uh, I did not want it to fill up with that. Empty. Okay, so all the water is left in here. I wanted to empty out the water. So when you do that, make sure I want to put biodiesel in here because show you, you can also fill up the jerry cans in here, which is kind of cool. I mean, I think it's easier to just put it in the thing over there, but you know, if you wanted some cool automation thing going on, you could do this and it's kind of fun. Uh, I guess it would help if I formed it first, huh? There we go. So now it's going to fill up with the fluid there so you can always see what's in there. Now if we take our jerry can, throw it down there, stops, fills it up. But it does not fill it up all the way, which is one of the things that frustrates me. But if you take it back out, put it back down, there you go. So the jerry can, it does take twice. I honestly wouldn't use it for the jerry can. Honestly, just go watch the one on uh, the refinery here. I would put the jerry can up in here and just fill it up that way, but that's just me. But if you wanted to do some cool automation, you could do that. Okay, I had to take care of the weather and some annoying mobbies. But this is the bottler and it looks really cool. I, I really love the layout of it. But what you're really going to probably want with it is the mixer. So for the mixer, we're going to need another one of the redstone engineering blocks. 
three of the fluid pumps, four of the light engineering blocks, four of the iron sheet metal, five of the steel scaffolding, and one steel fence. And then again, you're going to set it up like so. For first one, you're going to put the five steel scaffoldings here, the three pumps there, and the light engineering block in the corner. And then on top of the light engineering, you're going to add one and then one behind it, more of the light engineering. You're going to skip over the fluid one and you're going to put the redstone engineering block here and then the four iron sheet metals behind that. And then on the very top, you're going to put the fencing on the second light engineering and then you're going to put the light engineering block on top of the iron. Now, when you go to form it, you're going to hit this part right there. Ta-da! And of course, if we break it, you can see again. Uh, let me move that up real quick. There we go. So that's how the structure looks before you make it. And then this is what it looks like to be made. Of course, the orange on top is always the power. So we have that connected to power. The orange on top of the bottler is back here. And for just for this purposes, I have the creative but um, I do have the tutorials before on how to create really cool power going. So this is the mixer and this is pretty cool. So if this is what it looks like when you look into it. Um, now I'm going to explain these on the other ones because I always get these confused. The, or the blue is the input and the orange is the output. But this is going to output our fluid here. Um, of course, you can put uh, a lever on here if you wanted to uh, here uh, to turn it on and off, but I usually don't need that. Now, the cool thing is you put your stuff in here. You have your fluid coming in. You can click here to show your different recipes. There's several different things that this is really good for. One, it makes concrete. So let me go over here. I have the recipes laid out so you can see. So to make concrete, you can do it two different ways. And we're talking about the immersive engineering concrete, not the Minecraft concrete. So to make eight, you can simply make it in your crafting grid like so. Four sand, two gravel, one bucket of water, and two clay. And that'll make you eight blocks of concrete. And then you can take a block of concrete and a lead plate, and that'll make leaded concrete. And I'll show you some cool designs with that. And, but with the mixer, you can make a bucket of concrete. And I'll show you why that's important. So to make a full bucket, you're going to need a thousand millibuckets. So you're going to need four slag, two clay, and two gravel. And each of that inside this mixer here, along with water going into it, uh, will make you a bucket of concrete. And then there's also concrete tile, which four concrete together will make. Now, here is what they look like. Uh, you can even make stairs. This is the leaded, and you can make leaded stairs. This is the tiled, so it looks kind of cool. And, of course, they have slabs for the leaded and the regular concrete, which makes for some awesome building stuff. Now, before I show you how to make it, this is why concrete, liquid concrete, not just the regular concrete, is awesome. Because if you have a bucket, you can place a bucket down and do multiple things. Now, this did change from previous... Uh, instances where if you poured this down it would make blocks most of the way down and then slabs now it has these different ones so you have the panel the slab and then your regular block of concrete but before it would make blocks on the way down in previous uh, versions of immersive engineering but here like if you put one in the middle of a three by three section, uh, it takes a minute to set up. But the only one that will be full is the middle one. Let me go ahead and make it daytime too. Uh, the rest of these are not middle. And you can see the differences in the height, which makes it kind of cool for building purposes. But then if you place it over here... It's all about where you place it, but the nice thing is you can place some, one bucket of concrete down and it can make several different things. So if you wanted to, whoops, I guess that'll work. You could place one in a random spot. It is a little bit slower going down. It's 
obviously slower than water and uh, not quite as fast um, as lava. It's like in between. But um, yeah, that one is a full because I put that there. But you can make some really cool stuff out of this, which is kind of nice. I mean, think about it. I can imagine doing some building around here, even taking out the center in survival, of course. So that way you keep it. But you could put another block here and that would actually look kind of cool for some building stuff. I don't know. That's just me. And then over here, you have your full block in the middle and it does the slabs on the side. But like I said, you can actually craft them yourself. So let's see about automation. So here I have... Uh, let's move that. Thank you. All right. So here I have a mixer and next to it I have a bottler. Well, there's several different things we can do here. First of all, I have an extraction conveyor belt with a wooden storage crate. You could also use a chest, but I did wooden because it's immersive engineering. Um, and so in here we could have it automatically bottle stuff. So here's where our inputs are going to be for our fluid. Now I have a pipe running here and you could automatically connect it to here, but there's one problem with it. And uh, let me disconnect this and then I'll show you the reason why I don't automatically connect these. Now, if we automatically connect these, you're gonna start seeing, uh, does it have any in there? No, it does not have any in there. Uh, if we put water in here to make our recipes, it'll go into the tank here but it'll go straight into here. So it even bypassed the whole system. You don't even see it go in here because this is where it holds it. But if I disconnect this like so, and then I put my water in here because I have a bucket here with the blue on top, which is the input, and then uh, the pipe here, then it goes in here and it puts it in our tank here. So right now I'm making awkward potion. There's so many different things you can make with this. Think of all the different potions. So for this one, I'm just making the awkward cause you know, you kind of need that as base to make a lot of your uh, potion. So this is just making the awkward. Now here you can see about how fast it's going. But if I put in multiples, and again, stacks of one, you could put multiple stacks in, but if I put in other stacks, not just shift click this in, then um, it's actually going quite a bit faster. Now I do have an output back here. Right now it's not outputting, but if I put this back on, I have barrels here and it has to be blue on top because you know, that, so it'll go out into it. But then I have multiple barrels here and of course you can't see anything in them. But I have done so much of this while I was setting up that it's already up to uh, this. <laughs> it's already up to this one here with Awkward Potion. Um, and of course, you'll see which ones are empty or not. Now, if I wanted to automate this into my bottler, what I could do, because uh, if you look on the bottom of a barrel, it's automatically orange, which is output. So I could automatically connect this run my fluid pipes and I could automatically connect it to here. Uh, does that still have the water in it? That still has the water in it. Okay, so hold on. Hold up. So let's put this back down. Again, got to make sure it's facing the right way and kabam. All right, so now it should be filling up with awkward potion. So then what I could do is I could do a couple different things. I could bottle it. So from here, I could put in all these different bottles and it's just gonna sit here and bottle these. And voila, awkward potion. Now, you could also have the pipe running to a second mixer. It just loves to rain on here, doesn't it? Uh, you could have it running to a second mixer because then in the second mixer, uh, and these do not like to come out after you've put them in, by the way. Um, so if we put more water in here, so this keeps going. There we go. Um, in the second mixer, because you can still click on recipes while it has something else in there. Uh, we could have, for instance, I could add gas tears. It, we could pipe the fluid 
And this one I didn't set up, but instead of going into this barrel, you could have a second mixer set up here. And you could pipe it in. Of course, it would have to go into the inside, which is here on the side here. Uh, you could pipe it in to a second mixer and have it automatically creating. You could have the awkward potion sitting in there just so you can make whatever you need to with the awkward potion. Now these recipes, it'll show you what you need in the big vat here and then what you need to add to it to create whatever you're trying to create. And then over here, it will tell you what you're creating with it. So for instance, if I were to add gas here and I had the awkward potion going in, I could have potion of regeneration, which is awesome. And then if I click U on the potion of regeneration, it says you can either bottle it or you can put it back into the vat with redstone dust or glowstone dust to make either potion of regeneration 2 or regeneration, which is a longer lasting regeneration. Which is pretty awesome. So think of all the different possibilities you could do with this. I mean, this really is a pretty awesome setup. And look at this. See, the bottles just sit there and wait. Oh, some of them just disappeared. And of course, it is bottles. It is a one by one. So, uh, so that must be new. They used to not disappear at all on the conveyor belts. But what you could do is set a timer. You can uh, only put how much you need. Uh, only have it bottling so many at a time, whatever it is you need. But I thought that's pretty awesome, especially for a factory setting. And plus the animation on the mixer and the bottler are just amazing. At least I think so. And I put this here just to demonstrate this is another input. So you could have um, it going in from two different sides. So yeah. Now it's for the bottler. Oops, that's not supposed to be there. For the uh, bottler, again, I would only put so many in here because unless you have multiple storages here, whoop, or, you know, it just keeps spitting them out. You know, it's supposed to keep them here. It used The way it used to work is on the conveyor belt. So if we had, let me test something real quick. Um, let me get rid of that. Grab this. If we had a second conveyor, let, let's test this. Nope, I want it going that way. Thank you. And of course, I could use my thing and just make it go up from there. But if I had a second one here, so that is empty now. Let's see if we put our bottles in here. Once it fills up, uh, it should keep them on this blank conveyor here. But uh, through the magic of me pausing, I'll be right back and show you how it works. Okay, so it is full and is, is sitting there. Oh, it is throwing some of them out. Uh, but some of them, it's just sitting there. So they did change the way the conveyor belt systems do work. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you have plenty of space available for whatever it is you're crafting. The ones sitting on the conveyor belt should be okay. They should not despawn. But the ones here on the ground, of course, they're just going to disappear. So keep that in mind. All right. Hopefully these tutorials are helping you out. Uh, we have a few more left before we finish up immersive engineering. And then um, we'll be moving on to the next mod. All right, any questions or comments, leave them down below. If I do not know the answer, I will try my best to help you figure it out. All right, until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.